good day. Welcome back, boys and girls. Right, today's topic is how to restore a paintbrush that has been sitting in turps or, or sitting in paint and it's gone rock hard, right? Um, I'm a prime example for this. I, I, I'll paint something in, in, in a colour and um, put, put, the, put the brush in a jar with a bit of turps, forget about it, come back months later, turps has evaporated and um, my brush has gone rock hard with all paint round it. And it, it can be a re really good brush as being a, a painter, house basher. Um, most of the brushes I do buy are pretty good and decent standard brushes. Um, in this example, uh, there's, a, there's a Hamilton in the mix. So right, yeah. Brushes that have gone hard. How to restore it. I'm going to show you guys, even if you're new to the channel, right, how to restore a brush that looks like that. <laughs> look at that. Oh, yeah. Biter. Hey, look at it. Can you see? Yeah. And that is a Hamilton brush. I've also got a just a, what we call an inch tool that's uh, gone hard as well. Um, and yet yeah, another one. I'm going to do th two or three of these brushes, show you what the crack is. Look, that's gone hard as well. Yep. So yeah, I'm going to restore this brush back to near enough perfect condition. Well, it's going to be able to be used, if nothing else, because most people will have a brush like this and they'll just bend it, won't they? Not in this case, guys. Um, right, so, yeah. Let me show you how I'm going to go about this. First thing you will need, and that is cellulose thinning. I bought this particular size because I, I use it for cleaning me... Um, me Graco um, handheld spray because the main reason with this stuff it is absolutely as harsh as you can get when it comes to attacking paint right um most of you guys probably will be thinking oh use paint stripper don't use paint stripper because what happens is because all that paint is all all dried up in the ferrule and everything. Use paint stripper, yeah, it will do it to a degree, but what you might find happens is when you get them bristles near enough clean, um, the bristles will all bow out because the paint stripper expands the paint in the ferrule and, and the bristles tend to bow out a bit. And like, it's not really much good to be fair. I have tried it myself back in the day. Um, the person who, who, who actually advised me about this um, cellulose thin is, is the one that only, although he is no longer on the payroll, the Flash. Because um, I bought that Graco spray gun, did I? And uh, I said, what do you clean it out with? Terps or what? He goes, no, get yourself some cellulose thin And I said, why? And he basically said to me, he said, because it's really harsh on the paint. And I did notice when I cleaned my gun out with, um, spray gun out with uh, turps, um, you get to the point where you've got clear turps coming out. And believe it or not, it's not fully clean on the inside around all the workings. Then I put some cellulose thinner through it. And I actually got still got, um, in that example, white paint coming out mixed in with the solo so solo sun is is the way to go right so basically what you've got to do you've got to submerge these brushes in solo sun is wait for about tw 24 hours or so and what happens is it attacks all the paint it literally drops off as far as i can remember um just bear in mind highly flammable this stuff is highly flammable right Whatever you do, don't. His smoke, cause it's highly, highly flammable. Don't do it. Don't do it, guys. And it's not good, much good for your skin or anything and breathing in. So where the um, 
protective apparatus if you're not in a well ventilated area um, but it also evaporates very quickly ideally it would be good if you had some sort of glass jar like so and you could get your whole brush in it and put a lid on that's ideal but in the real world that's not the case so let me show you what I'm going to do to restore these brushes back to near enough mint condition. Right, so what I've got is a glass jar for, for, for these two brushes, yeah? So I'm going to just lob them in that glass jar like so, yeah? Two brushes in the glass jar. And I've got this old coffee tin as well. Um, that's where it was inside that. And all I'm going to do is put those there. Like I say, ideally, get some gloves on, guys, and, and a respirator. And all I'm doing is tipping cellulose thinners until it covers them bristles. Or halfway up the ferrule, like that. Yeah. Simple as that. Do not smoke. Do not pass go. Do not collect two hundred pound. Yeah. So I'm going to put them in there. Leave them for twenty four hours, and you'll see what I'm going to do. Ideally, if you can, get something to cover them. I don't know what. Just get a sheet, like so. Cover them up just to try and stop that stuff evaporating and bear in mind when you're finished with this project yeah. sell those thinners and you can still use it again so put it in um, an empty terps container or back in an empty one of uh, the containers that sell those uh, thinners comes in yeah simple as that right so that's what i do stick them in the jars get sell those thinners in there leave them for about 24 hours and what i'm going to do is come back and show you the procedure of how I'll restore these uh, brushes. So yeah, see you in about 24 hours. Let them have a good soak. It's been 24 hours and back in the candle cave to uh, start restoring um, these brushes that have gone rock hard due to my negligence. Yeah, sorry to say, my negligence. So yeah, let me um, just give you a bit of a close-up of what they look like after 24 hours soaking in cellulose thinners well here they are you got the two in there so that that's an Hamilton brush and that is not that uh, I think they're much good these days and again left behind a bit I need to step the game up especially on the length of the bristles uh, but anyway beside the point so what we've got is this one And as you can see, see how it started lifting it all off the ferrule and everything. Now, I'm not saying we're going to get this done in one go, uh, but we're going to make it a start on scraping all that crap off there. And uh, I just, that's a bit cloudy because of me, that is. But you can see how it takes it all off. Vapors help as well, especially if you're covering it over. But yeah, let's get them out and uh, get one of them cleaned up at least. Right, so yeah, let's get these out. First thing you're going to need to do is um, put a bit of newspaper down or something. Oh, <laughs> oh maybe not that side. You know what I mean? Parental guidance. Yeah, we've got a bit of newspaper down and you're going to need... Uh, for a start, going to need some form of scraper or one of these scars and blades because we literally got to get that paint off, haven't we? So, as you can see, look, it's all flaking off. The solo sun is has literally attacked all the hard paint on the ferrule and everything. Um, I've just been and put some uh, gloves on because really you don't want this stuff splashing all over your um over your hands deal yeah so get it out you see what i mean move that stop it 
start taking it off like so. Now you can probably see that's has bowed out a little bit. So get a good scrape off. Right, so now it has softened it up completely but this need to say this is going to need a lot more work right so just get the the excess off like so and what we'll do I'll show you what I'm going to do There it is. Let's get the other two done as well. Right, so we've got one done. Let's get another one out. Make sure you drain this as much as this, sell those thinners off as you can. Same again. But you can see how it has destroyed and softened all the uh, hard paint up. Right. Also might pay you to get a wire brush or a bit of a rag, do that. But you see, it has thinned it down. It has softened it all off. Get another one. Go watch this sell those thinners on your skin. Because it's not much fun. Now bear in mind these brushes they were at a stage where they, they, they just look completely knackered, don't they? Wipe all the excess off, like so. So they're, they're all soft now. I mean, don't get me wrong, that one looks a bit knackered, doesn't it? But we'll see, we'll see what it looks like. Let's get them cleaned out with a bit of turps. So what I'm doing now is just putting a bit of a plastic bag down. Get yourself an empty Terps container or a, a plastic kettle. What we need to do now is wash them out, you see. And what I tend to do when I brush, when I clean brushes out, is keep the um, existing dirty Terps for a, an occasion like this. Yeah. Tip off a lot Like so. Let's try this brush. You can see how it's cleaning it all out, can't you? But <clears throat> you might say you are going to use quite a bit of turps to get them cleaned out and back to some sort of condition um but what's it going to cost you four quid for a tub of turps so just give them a wash out with the turps right so still got loads of shit and paint in them but you know Don't forget you can keep this turps as well. Put it into an empty turps container. All the bits will drain down the bottom. You end up with semi-clear or clear turps, depending on the paint that's in it. And uh, Bob's your uncle. Right, so what I'm gonna do, 
I'm just going to get these washed out a little bit more so you can get a better idea of what they're going to look like when they're fairly clean. Right, and as you can see, what I've been doing is wire brushing them, and the uh, the have come for a lot, a lot better, but they do need a bit more washing out with cellulose or turps, whatever you've got. So that one's fairly decent. The inch tool, that's turned out quite well. Um, we've got to be fanning out on this one, as you can see which basically means there's loads of shit still down the bottom there. So it's cleaned up a lot better, but what I'm gonna do now is just give them a good clean out the solos. Right, so I've got uh, got my empty container. I'm gonna tip some solo sinners in here, just a bit at a time, and get these a bit more of a clean out. As you can see, it's all ready starting to discolour the uh, cellos then there's that small paint coming out of the brushes so you're going to need to do this a few times <coughs> that's why you only want to put a little bit in at a time otherwise you're going to be wasting it so I'll do all three brushes in this particular one and then I'll um, get some clean stuff right so remember what I said no smoking next to this stuff highly flammable and trust me it goes up like a rocket get some gloves on and if you're not used to uh, dealing with this stuff um, gloves eye protection respirator etc so I'm just going to clean this out a few more times see how we get on and all I'm doing is get an empty terps container tipping the dirty cellulose centers in there or terps whichever you've got uh, more of so I'll save that and what happens with that is time goes on all the paint drops at the bottom semi clear or clear th thinners uh, tip it into another turps container or whatever and i'll just get that out there get that a wash chip some more in and all i'm going to do now is just keep repeating that for a few times as you've just seen i've um literally wire brushed the bristles and the ferrule and uh, onto the handles a bit um there's the dirty cellulose thinners that i've been using now as time goes on maybe in a month or so all the paint particles or nearly all of them will drop down to the bottom and start um congealing going thick and uh you can just tip that semi-clean stuff or clean stuff into another empty terps container and then just chuck that one in the bin i've got a, a different colored lid on that so i know it's not terps i know it's cellulose um there's the kit i've been using wire brush scraper scars and scraper yeah and as you can see the inch brush has come up lovely i mean what i would recommend is using these in like um acrylic primer undercoat or an emulsion for a start and then wash them out before uh, you even think about putting them in uh, like a finished gloss or satin 
you, you can't use these straight into a finished paint. The one using in uh, a water-based emulsion or acker, like I've just said. But that one turned out all right. It's fairly clean, that is. Um, this one turned out all right, but this is quite short. Um, just about go away with using it for doing a bit of cutting in. And this one that you, you've seen, it has sort of um flagged out a bit but with a bit of use in water-based products that should start being a bit more well it should start looking like a brush a bit more to be fair um, but it's still okay not all smooth when you consider look still use that for cutting in stuff no wrong with that so yeah that's it basically Look all right, didn't I? So there you go, guys. If you want to restore some of your brushes, that's how I normally go about it. Some people could argue that you're going to use shit loads of terps or sell those thinners for cleaning them out, etc. But um, when you consider what uh, that one inch brush would cost you on a decent make, probably three, four. You know three four five quid for that inch tool well that's what it's costing you for terps or cellulose isn't it so you've saved money um on, on the other two and as you can see dead smooth i'm gonna show that dead smooth i know it's a bit flagged out but it does happen sometimes to be honest that one's perfectly all right and usable but when you consider what these three brushes looked like before i started they look like they were ready for the bin uh, and like i say what what you're using on fluids to clean them and uh restore them you've made your money back haven't you because you've still got two more brushes out of it so yeah that's how you go about it guys just make sure you wear the correct ppe for it especially if you're not used to dealing with these sort of chemicals um i mean you know what this paint is like i normally wash my hands out with turps no, not, 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 not really. Only kidding. Yeah, I do. <laughs> um, but yeah, they're all usable now, so happy days. So that's about it, guys. Um, I've not wasted any any cellulose, really. There it is. That's all full. When that drops down, put it in a clean one. So when that's settled down, I'll transfer the clean stuff into... Um, a new container and it'll be just left with like dry or semi-dry paint at the bottom won't it and then just but dispose of that in the correct manner you should know all about that but yeah that's it guys hope you've enjoyed the content of this video um and, and if you're if you're thinking of uh binning a brush try restoring it because personally i think these are all right now I mean, I probably won't use them that much. I'll just use them around the house and not much good for at work. But And, and some of these brushes are quite old, to be honest. But, uh, yeah, look all right. Isn't it? But, yeah, I hope that's helped you out. Maybe it's changed your mind. Uh, maybe you were thinking of, of dumping one of these brushes in, in the thing. Get yourself some cello thinners from wherever. I bought this offline. And restore some of your brushes back to former glory. So, yeah guys that's it hope you've enjoyed that uh, until next time from yours truly don't forget to stay safe make sure you subscribe uh hit the notification bell uh videos coming up near enough every week and maybe there's something there for you so candleman signing out Just got like a, like a no, I don't want it looking like you put a bowl around me. Do I? <laughs> Can you not blend it in? It's gone around. Let me have a look. I've just took it around. <laughs> gone around where? So I've done like a line. So from, oh, from, shit. From here. Why has it got a big lump in the middle? Where? You need um. There. Oh. What do you mean? Oh. I don't know. You need to get like a comb and um. We ain't got one.
need a comb. Where have I got a comb? You need a comb to play. <laughs> Come on, girl, you can do it. Many a true word said in jest. Mm.